Superior service is the best way to retain customers, but do you have an organized way to make sure you don't miss a single step in your follow-up? Whether you're in direct sales, run a product or service-based business, or own a brick and mortar shop, following up with your customers is the best way to foster relationships and encourage repeat sales. Today, I am so excited to give you the one simple way that I organize all of my contacts in an app called Trello to keep the sales rolling in. By the way, for more organization and productivity tips for entrepreneurs, make sure you hit the subscribe button to Coffee with Christy for my weekly Wednesday videos you do not want to miss. Now, before we get into the tutorial, let's talk about what the follow-up formula is. I first heard about this over two years ago when I joined my direct sales company, Senegence International. And what we're taught when following up with our customers is the rule two, two, two. You're supposed to follow up with them two days after they purchase, two weeks after that sale, and then every two months after that until they make another purchase again, and then the process starts all over again. This formula works so well for any type of business because it keeps you and your business front of mind for your customer without coming across too salesy. The key when following up with people is to be really conversational. It's not like you're messaging people two weeks after the sale to be like, hey, want to buy something else? It's just taking note of something that they told you in the last conversation to say, hey, I remember last time we talked and your dog was going to the vet. How's your dog doing? It's a really, really simple way, but it is so effective. And so now we're going to get into the tutorial for me to show you exactly how I organize all of my contacts and keep track of all of these different conversations in my follow-up formula. So let's go to the tutorial. All right, so for the privacy of my own customers, I've created this sample board to show you guys how to organize your contacts in Trello without giving up any pertinent information. So just know that my actual customer follow-up board is a lot more detailed, but this is enough to just, you know, so you get the gist. <laughs> If you've never used this platform, Trello is an online website and also an app that you can uh, use to organize as much as you want. And so it's divided into boards, which is this big one with the pineapple. And then we have the three gray columns here are called lists. Underneath that, we have cards. And then within each card, you can have a description, checklists, due dates, attachments, and more. As you can see, I've created three lists. We've got two days, two weeks, and two months. And within these lists, I have my customers. When I click on a customer's card, I can then see any information I need to. Depending on your business, this might be their email, their address, their purchase history, who they were referred by, really whatever makes sense for your personal business. You can even attach documents to these cards, which is really nice if you'd like to keep contracts and receipts here too. I'm just a huge fan of keeping everything organized electronically. That's actually something I talked about in last week's video, tidying up your business with Marie Kondo's KonMari method. So I'll link that below. You can check it out at the end of the video, but the more information you can put about your customer, the better to keep you organized. Next, I have also something called a customer checklist underneath here, which, you know, again, is going to look different for everyone. One of my virtual assistant clients is a web designer and her Trello checklist had contracts and questionnaires and feedback forms and stuff. But for direct sales, your might, yours might look similar to mine, asking them to have a party for referrals and to join the business. So you can check things off per client um, so that you can kind of keep track of what you've done for this person. And I really like that feature of Trello just because otherwise, you know, you don't want to keep asking somebody to have a party if you've asked them like three times before. <laughs> From here, I think everything's pretty self-explanatory, but I wanna show you in real time how I use this for my business. So let's just say I had a brand new customer purchase from me today. And I'm so, I'm gonna click add card, write her name. We're gonna save that. And then we're going to go in and put details about that customer you know, within that card. It doesn't have to be anything too specific unless you want to, it all depends on your business. If you want, you could even apply a label, like you could do friends, family, referral, whatever. Um, but again, it all depends. <laughs> all right, after you've kind of done all these things, you can add your, well, add your checklist, copy items from one of your other customers so that you are not reinventing the wheel every time. Uh, maybe the first time you talked to her, you talked to her about having a party, so now you've checked that off. After this, we're gonna set a due date before we you know, finish up for the day. So today is March 18th and we wanna follow up with her two days from now. So that is March 20th. 
select that and save it. And that's really nice because now when you hop onto Trello every day, you can see exactly who you need to follow up with that day. These will actually be, I can even show you just because, oh, you can even see it. If I make it today, it'll be red. So it'll be like, you need to do this right now. <laughs> but we are doing it in two days. Okay, now let's say that it's two weeks later, I mean, sorry, two days later, and we have now followed up with her, and we chatted about her dog going to the vet, <laughs> and to go with the example I used earlier, and we're going to now take her and move that card right over. We can add more details if we'd like about our conversation. If she purchased something else, then we'd keep her in the two-day spot, but now we're going to change the due date. So go back to due date. We're going to go two weeks later to April 3rd. Save that, and now we can keep track of these follow-ups. So yeah, guys, that's it. It's really, really simple. You can add different things into Trello and make it a little bit more detailed if you'd like, depending on your business, but I tend to err on the side of less is more. You know, there's there's definitely beauty and simplicity. I think that this is a really simple way, an easy way to organize all of your contacts, keep track of when you're following up with them, and keeping your customers happy. Friends, I hope this tutorial taught you how to properly follow up with your customers and how to organize your contacts accordingly. If you liked this video, please let me know by liking it below, subscribing to Coffee with Christy, and sharing it with your fellow entrepreneur friends. And before I go, tell me in the comments, have you ever used Trello? I am obsessed and I am going to do way more videos on my channel about it in the future. So tell me if you've ever used it and I'll see you in the comments section. Bye.